How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Man Man Review. I'm your host, Andrew, and today we'll be taking a look at some old cartridges that have faded into obscurity, but are otherwise usable today. With new ballistic technology being introduced every year, it is easy to forget how hunting used to be back in the day. Only a century ago, cartridges such as the 3030 Winchester were popular, albeit still weak by today's standards. But the thing is that deer are not difficult to kill. Deer-capable rounds do not have to be that powerful. At 50 yards, a 300 Magnum can kill just as well as a 3030 Winchester. Modern cartridges are created to extend the reach, so you do not have to creep up to 50 yards from your target. You just need to get within 300 yards or so to take the shot. Granted, some people may argue that being able to shoot from far away takes away from the hunting experience, and they may have a point there. If you can shoot from really far away, well, what's the difference between hunting and target practice? Maybe you have some beliefs, or maybe you want to know what it was like to hunt back in the day. If that's you, then I have here a list of seven deer cartridges that can still do the job, provided that you can find them. Some of these cartridges actually form the foundation for newer, more popular, and more powerful cartridges. It's also interesting to see how ballistic technology has evolved over time. 4440 Winchester the 4440, also known as the 44 Winchester Center Fire, used to be incredibly popular back in the day. It was introduced alongside the good old Winchester 1873 lever action rifle. Using rifles from that period, you would get about 1,200 feet per second with a 200 grain bullet. On modern rifles, you can push up to 1,600 feet per second. This is more than enough to take deer down. Another thing worth noting about the 4440 is the fact that it was compatible with early revolvers as well. This is convenient for hunters and cowboys. They can carry a rifle and a revolver that use the same cartridge. Many deer fell victim to this cartridge, and you can still find factory ammo available today. The 405 Winchester. This rim cartridge is still one of the most powerful cartridges designed for lever-action rifles. It was introduced alongside Winchester 1895 tubeless lever. It packs about 2,230 feet per second with a 300-grain bullet. It really hits hard. Teddy Roosevelt loved it so much that he wrote that the Winchester 405 is a medicine gun for lions. One can say that this adoration for this cartridge contributed to its popularity. To this day, you can still find people who bring their 405 on their deer hunting trips, and chances are that they also happen to like Teddy Roosevelt. The cartridge itself was not used to shoot deer that often, but it can still do the job just fine. 3855 Winchester The 3855 has been through a lot. First, Marlin offered alongside a lever-action rifle, and the cartridge became popular for target practice. Then it became a common chambering for lever guns from Winchester and Marlin, although it can only reach 1,500 feet per second with a 225-grain bullet. Then it was used as a parent case for the good old 3030 Winchester, 2535 Winchester, and 32 Winchester Special. Later, Winchester gave it a shorter but stronger case alongside their big bore Model 94. The cartridge was relabeled as the 375 Winchester. Winchester still offers the 3855 load with 255 grain bullets that can reach 1300 feet per second. Buffalo Bore also has a load that lets you achieve 2000 feet per second with their 155 grain bullets. 303 Savage. The 300 Savage was considered by many as the forerunner to the famous 308 Winchester. The 205 Savage offers up to 3000 feet per second despite being a center fire cartridge. What about the 303 Savage? It's the predecessor to both cartridges. Ballistically, the 303 Savage is very similar to the 3030 Winchester. Savage rifles that use the 303 Savage can also utilize pointy Spitzer bullets, which gives the 303 Savage a bit more performance than the 3030. If you can find factory 303 Savage ammo, you should probably try your hands at the lottery. There might be a few custom ammo shops that sell them, but chances are that you will have to learn how to hand load. What killed it? The 300 Savage. 3220 Winchester. The 3220 used to be loaded with black powder and was a popular cartridge for early revolvers. It was known for its accuracy, although it is outclassed by modern cartridges now. Shot from a rifle with a 100 grain bullet, consider yourself lucky if you can hit 1300 feet per second. However, using a modern rifle, you can push it to 2000 feet per second, but it loses power quickly. At 100 yards, you would only have about 500 foot pounds of energy. Again, this is still enough to take down deer, but you might want to get a bit closer. 30 Remington. The 30 Remington was designed as a repurpose to Winchester's 3030 in terms of ballistic performance. Both are pretty much the same. The difference is that the Remington's 30 is compatible with Spitzer style bullets if you shoot it from rifles such as the Remington Model 8 or even the Model 14. If we also factor this into our comparison, then the 30 Remington performs slightly better. 
Unfortunately, neither the cartridge nor the guns were that popular upon introduction. That means you have to hand load your own ammo, but that also means you'll have a powerful deer killer in your hands. 2535 Winchester. 2535 was among the first smokeless rifle cartridges, and it was compatible with Savage, Marlin, and Winchester lever action rifles. It was pretty popular at its debut, but at the end of the Second World War, no more American rifles were made to chamber it. The 2535 Winchester is very light on recoil, and you can probably find factory ammo under the name of 2535 Winchester Center Fire. Hornady also started to offer the 2535, and it's loaded with their 110 grain FTX bullets, which should give you about 2,425 feet per second. And there you have it, folks. Thank you for accompanying me on this trip down memory lane. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. It really means a lot. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when new videos comes out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.